Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on probabilities using the Poisson probability distribution and list on a Casio FX991EX. So in this video, we have a random variable X distributed with the Poisson distribution and then we've got a lambda value of 1.7. And then we've got four things to find. The probability x equals one, probability x equals four, probability x is greater than or equal to one, and then finally, the probability that x is greater than one, but less than or equal to three. We're going to use the probability distribution feature for the Poisson on the Classwiz FX991EX to help us with this question. So it's menu and then navigate to seven distribution, and then scroll down, and then you want option two from the second menu, Poisson PD. Now, because we've got a number of different probabilities to find, it's going to be helpful for us to use list to answer this question. So select one list. Now we need to input some X values based on the results that we want to answer these particular questions. So if we consider all four parts as one whole, well, we're going to need results up to X equaling four, but rather than start from one, I would suggest starting from zero because that's going to be useful for us for part C. Input zero to four. So zero equals one equals and so on until you've got to four in the X column. Don't worry about the P column. That is where our probabilities are going to appear once we've inputted the Lambda value. So once you've inputted your last X value, then press equals one more time. And then you should receive a prompt to input your lambda value. So in this example, it's 1.7 and equals, and then equals one more time to confirm. And now you can see that the P column has been populated with the probabilities. So let's have a look at answering the questions then. So for part A, it was the probability that X equals one. I'm going to navigate right to get a closer look at the probabilities. And if I scroll down to one, here we've got the probability that X equals one. So 0 0.31056 to five decimal places there. So that's our answer for part A. And for part B, very similar, we just need to navigate down to X equals four. And here we've got the probability for X equals four, 0 0.06357 to five decimal places. So parts A and B, very easy there, just reading off from the table. Part C and D are going to just require a little bit more work. Part C says, what is the probability of X being greater than or equal to one? Well, let's just think about this. If X is one or more, then essentially that's the same probability as one minus the probability of X equaling zero because we have a discrete distribution. So if I find the probability of X equals zero and subtract that from one, then I've got the probability of X is greater than or equal to one. So let's scroll up to X equals zero. We've got the probability here, 0 0.18268. I'm going to do my one minus calculation and calculate mode. So I just want to store this into the class with memory by pressing store and then I'm just going to choose memory A, just confirm stored to A. Now, before I move to calculate mode to do that, I'm just going to store some values in as well to help us answer part D because that will also require calculate mode. So part D asks for the probability that X is greater than one and less than or equal to three. Essentially, that is the same as the probability of X equaling two and also equaling three. So the probability of two plus the probability of three. Again, because we have a discrete distribution. So what I can do is store the probability of two and three from our list here into the memory and then use that in calculate mode to work out our final answer for part D. So before I move to calculate, let's just store in two and three. So X equals two is 0 0.263985 to five decimal places. Let's just store that in B, store and B. And scroll down one more. We have the probability of X equals three and we'll store that one to C. So we've got everything that we need from this table stored in the memory. So let's press menu and go to calculate. So you can just press one to go to calculate mode. Let's answer part C first. So remember we have the probability of X equaling zero stored in memory A, one minus alpha and then A equals, and here we have our answer to part C, 0 0.8173 to four decimal places and so on. 
And then part D, we need to add the probability that X equals two and the probability of X equals three together to get our answer. So that's alpha B plus alpha C and then equals. And here we have our probability for part D, 0.4136 to four decimal places. So there we go, how we can use the Poisson probability distribution and the list feature on the Casio Classwiz FX991EX to answer this question involving random variables with a Poisson distribution. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.